hunger. It's a reality millions of Americans face on a daily basis. You know, we knew it was bad, but it's worse than we thought. According to the USDA, in terms of low food security, Missouri ranks second in the nation. That means the number of households lacking money for food is on the rise, while supplemental resources are quickly disappearing. It's very concerning because Missouri's never been number two. In the last 10 years, we've shown the quickest growth in that area. Not, not growth that you want to see, but in an in a unfortunate pattern of food insecurity. About one out of every four residents in Adair County is considered food insecure by national standards. But now, more than ever, the face of hunger seems to be changing. I think that people would be very surprised to find out that one of the largest growing segments that we are seeing is what I call uh, working poor, which is people who are working and you know trying to do the right thing, and they're faced with tough choices every day. Dublin attributes recent growth to the economic crash in 2007, which also impacted a great deal of retirees. Now, she says, many working families simply can't stretch their budgets any further. And when the money gets tight, food is typically the first thing to go. Truly, the only thing in the budget that's not fixed, you know, your water bills and gas bills and the rent, those are all fixed items. You have to get to work, you need the car, you need the gas for the car. But food is not a fixed item. Where do you cut in the budget? You cut food out. You skip some meals. Your children skip meals because, you know, you're doing everything right, but it's still not enough. And after cuts to the SNAP program last November, a family of four will now be receiving $36 less every month. And since the passage of the Farm Bill, even more cuts are on the way. So local food banks are seeing a need now more than ever. I think that if you talk to any of the pantries, they will tell you that, that the numbers are up. So they're working to keep up with need as best they can. I mean, I can truly tell you that, um, you know, it breaks your heart, some of the things you see and some of the stories you hear. And at the same time, you feel like hopefully you're helping some of that. And every dollar donated could mean a meal for a struggling neighbor. You know, we need to all work together and pitch in to help, help this. It's a basic need of life food, clothing, shelter. And if we don't have those, you know, how can we read a book and think, take a test, do well, get ahead, and get out of poverty? And with that in mind, I'm ready to embark on this final week of the SNAP Challenge. Reporting in Kirksville, Caitlin Berry, KTVO News.